Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another incremental Googleology video, episode 11. And it's been about three weeks since last episode. This challenge took such a long time, but I am finally done with it. I'm just going to do a save here in case anything catastrophic happens. So, fast growing hacker prestige. This means that hopefully, well, I have completed the challenge and I can unlock iterated fast growing hierarchy items which looks like it's doing exactly what i feared absolutely nothing because i feel like i already have iterated fast growing hierarchy items so what am i supposed to do now that was like the last hope of progression i mean i can get something like this which will make things just a little bit better but that isn't all that good there is stuff like, well, another change. This got um, this game did get a minor update between last episode and this episode. It just tells me that th there's a tick speed bonus. You gain five percent game speed for every log ten x of your number, but it's only below e three oh eight. So this is, this makes this can make it really easy to get quick fast growing hierarchy prestiges. But then, well, once I get to e three oh eight, it slows down hard so like like i can do all these this but it still isn't going to be that much faster or is it because it actually is faster I, d I don't understand this game at all i i really don't understand this game now while while i'm waiting for this i should probably get my automatons back up i'll I do definitely buy max zero only bashing matrices and the buy this, this is pretty obvious. I will eventually want to do fast growing hierarchy prestige, but unfortunately I can't really do, I can't customize that. I can customize the unlock zero only Bashiku matrices, but that's about it. I'm pretty close to an unlock here, which is 5E924, which I guess I'll get. I'm guessing the automaton probably, or not the automaton, the fast growing hierarchy item here did help me at least a little bit. I don't think this E924 is going to rocket me all the way to the E977. It's going to it's going to get me most of the way there actually. Okay, it's it, it it exceeded my expectations. I thought it was going to take like 10 15 seconds just to get back to E924. But look at this. It's probably now faster to go for base 4. Because now I can with base four, I'll be able to get so much more number than before. Also, should probably have this automated. Okay, sorry, I was interrupted. I I think I was talking about some kind of automatons here. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Buy zero. No, I want to unlock zero only basket matrices. I should shouldn't have any of these. I should just have infinity for all of these. And this will get me all the way to, let's see, only E4000? How did I get E6000? Oh, there, well, there is a base 4 unlock right here. That's still actually kind of disappointing. It is the fastest now, but it, it really... I thought I was gonna... I thought it was gonna be way better than this. Well, maybe it will be way better once I get this. Because now... I'll be, after doing a whole bunch of resets here, I only get to E4600. I, I don't understand this. 4700, I mean, maybe it's it's slightly faster, but it isn't the BL end all I might be wanting. There is like a E4885 here, but yeah, just not as good as I thought. Now, there is something I can do. And this is a the fastest fast growing hacker prestige. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn off um, these automatons and and turn this on. So now if I go like this, I can do these in well four seconds according to this. Although I don't think it's actually it's it's more like just a tiny fraction of a second and i'm getting about 
10 faster than hierarchy number per second this way. I was only getting like one or two per second the other way. So maybe what if instead, or actually I'm going to try something else first. I'm going to do this so that I'm going to do this down so I can try to get the base three, but I don't think it's actually helping me. It's still about the same speed as before, maybe even a little slower. So, yeah, that's that. Then I could do the strategy of unlocking zero only bashiko matrices so I could get to the bigger number or the E977, but I don't even think that's gonna, it might be faster, but I'm not sure how much faster. And it doesn't really seem like, like the E924 grind is just pretty, it's just brutal. So, I don't know. I think the fastest method, even at this point, is just going to be this. And without this. Because of how the tick speed works in the game. And how I passively generate a fast growing hierarchy number this way. With the higher tick speed. I could even purposely try to go into maybe some kind of challenge. And lock myself right under E308. To get max fast growing hacker PC. That's actually a new strategy. It's interesting. Okay, I, I'm doing that. Disable all and go into. I'm gonna go into the challenge I went to before because it's kind of easy to manipulate where I want to be. So if I want if I want to get all the way to I'm just gonna use the enter the enter trick. Doesn't, no, the enter trick doesn't even work. That's sad. But I'm I'm basically just gonna try to get all the way to like E300 and then just stop after that. So it looks like E132, E170, E190. I can do another unlock. Um, E180, E200. I can do yet another unlock. This might be the last one I'm doing. E209, 237, 254, 256, 258, 280, 290, 300. Ah, crap. I, th I thought that was going to... <laughs> I thought that was going to lock me. I didn't realize that. Okay, try again. Well, not really try again. I, I, just, I can just do an unlock here and do this. And whenever I get to... E 308 or yeah, just do this, do this, and this. Maybe, maybe a little bit more cautious. Maybe start buying, maybe just buy the first dimensions here. That didn't actually do much. Um, that didn't nerf it by as much as I thought it might. So now I'm really close from E 300. Now let's just start trying to buy all of these. Come on. Uh, I don't think this is doing it because I'm still gaining number and even with these nerfs it's just still it's still going up and that's a bad thing hilariously I mean this is you can see I'm gaining about 40 or something like 40 fast growing hierarchy number per second but then it's gonna all stop when I hit E308 I can try my best with another one of these but it's because the base 2 is already nerfing the base 3 stuff. So, what do I do? Maybe I go into base 3 initially, and then I try to buy max. This puts me at E227, which maybe I could just stay here for a while. It's not that much below something like E308. Also, I think what I was, what I was kind of missing was that the base three doesn't actually nerf this one so it might be nerfing the growth of this but it was not actually nerfing it so i'm gonna stay like this for a while and hopefully my number will not grow past e308 that's the goal and this will basically be giving me about let's see i what i haven't really tried to time this zero one 
to, yeah, it's about 50 fast growing hierarchy number per second. If I keep it like this and wait like the same de same amount of, even if I just wait a day, that is going to be 5 million fast growing hierarchy number, which actually isn't that much, but I really need every ounce of progression I can in this game. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the next day, maybe even week. So see in a bit, or long while actually. Okay, I'm back like two to three days later, and I accumulated before I decided to stupidly get this to go over E3 away. Well, it was already over E3 away, but I was trying to like spend so I could stay in this just a little longer. I've gotten 1.41 E7. So that's about 14 million fast growing hierarchy number so that that's really good and it's it's gonna allow me to get a lot of upgrades in total it gets me one two oh i just spent all of them <laughs> i i know double clicking max is all but i don't think that was much of a double click unless i like just like double click with my, with my mouse whatever i think it got me like six of those upgrades i was at 2048 now i'm at 131,072. And I can get one of these upgrades. That's 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 1,024 times increase to all of this, or at least I hope. And now I think the best strategy is to exit the challenge and just to go on a long run. Because I noticed, I, I noticed that basically because of how you spend most of your time over E308, I can actually kind of... I can just do this, unlock base 4, and actually unlocking base 4 is now super easy, which is really cool. And because I'm spending so much of my time b above E308, it'll say I can get a lot more fast growing hierarchy number. It's still going to be slower, possibly, but the thing is that what matters is what the game says I'm, I'm going to be getting for fast growing hierarchy number. Which means that it'll increase this, the effect of this upgrade. This is, I had 1.7 as a peak. Now it looks like my peak, it keeps increasing. So I would say somewhere around, what is this, 7.7? .7. If I can get all the way up to E58, no, so I only have one of those. So yeah, about 7.8 looks like my peak per second. So that's like a five times increase. Or like between four and five times increase in the amount of fast going hierarchy number the game says I get per second. And this is big because of just how the game deals with the fast growing hierarchy number. Like basically now this instead of 0 0.17, now it's 0 0.79 per second. So that's a, that's that's pretty big. And I could do this to just Try to increase my fastest fast growing hierarchy prestige, which will help the one upgrade, which seems like it's actually not any faster. It says 3.26 is now the fastest. So maybe maybe it could even priority top. This could speed up more. Doesn't seem to actually, but that's okay. And I think what I want to do now, I want to keep going for more fast growing hierarchy number. And the way to do this is to enter challenge six which is kind of weird but that's what i'm going to do i'm going to disable all first of all i'm going to disable all my automatons then i'm going to enter this and is this just i think this is like the equivalent of like i don't know anti-matter dimensions challenge six i think so if i just enable this so it's one of those challenges that i can just leave and forget and not really do stuff with so it looks like I should probably do definitely some of these. I don't want to do fast going hierarchy prestige because I can technically complete the challenge, but that's not the point here because I already completed this challenge and it gives no reward if I just get one fast going hierarchy number. It multiplies the fast going hierarchy number gain by the fast going hierarchy number again, the challenge. So this means that I will be able to get more fast going hierarchy number if I leave this on for a very very long time 
But the other thing that this is doing is because I'm below E308 the entire time, unless I somehow get really far in the challenge, which I don't think I'm anywhere actually close to because I only have 12 and E29 of these. Like, I only have three dimensional growth of my numbers. Basically, it's going to all stay below E308, even maybe a little bit too much below E308. And also, this challenge reminds me more of the game Prestige rather than Antimatter Dimensions Challenge 6. Because it, with Antimatter Dimensions Challenge 6, it costs 2 below it, but this costs directly below it, which is what the Antimatter Dimensions Prestige does. Or not Antimatter Dimensions, the, 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 the infamous April Fool's Prestige game, which is, yeah, it's kind of crazy, but yeah. I'm basically just going to leave this going for weeks. Or at least that's what I think. I'm getting somewhere about, what is this, 100 per second. So it is a little bit faster, even at this point. And if I get my number higher, it's going to be even faster. I can maybe get 200, 300 per second. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.